friends in this video we shall learn about the coronary arteries as we all know the coronary artery is the artery that supplies the heart the artery encircles the heart like a crown and hence the name coronary artery the normal blood flow through the coronary artery is 200 ml per minute which is about 4% of the total cardiac output the coronary artery gets filled during the diastole of the cardiac cycle that is during the diastole the blood vessels distance leading to an increased blood flow through these vessels there are two coronary arteries they are the right coronary artery and the left coronary artery the coronary artery arises from the aortic sinus the cross section of the aortic sinus is shown where there are three aortic sinus from the anterior aortic sinus the right coronary artery arises from the left posterior aortic sinus the left coronary artery arises and there are no coronary arteries from the right posterior aortic sinus and hence the name non coronary sinus for the anatomy exams the diagram of the coronary arteries is very important and we shall now learn an easy method to draw the coronary arteries for that we shall first draw the outline of the heart showing the bottom blood vessels arising from it The arch of aorta is shown in red as it is an artery. The superior vena cava and the pulmonary trunk in blue as they are veins. And we shall now draw the left coronary artery arising from the aortic sinus and its branches the left anterior descending artery the circumflex artery the left marginal artery and the diagonal branch for the right coronary artery we shall follow the same steps we shall first draw the outline of the heart showing the arch of aorta the superior vena cava and the pulmonary trunk then we shall draw the right coronary artery and its branches the posterior interventricular artery the right marginal artery and the sinoaortic branch now we shall learn the course of the left coronary artery The left coronary artery after its origin descends between the pulmonary trunk and the left auricle. After this it divides into the left anterior descending artery and the circumflex artery. The left anterior descending artery moves anteriorly along the interventricular groove and then it crosses the apex of the heart moving posteriorly along the interventricular groove. and finally an asthenosing with the posterior interventricular artery a branch of the right coronary artery the circumflex artery initially winds around the left margin of the heart then moves posteriorly along the atrioventricular groove and finally an asthenosing with the right coronary artery moving into the course of the right coronary artery the right coronary artery after its origin descends between the pulmonary trunk and the right auricle and then moves forward along the right atrium and right ventricle then winds around the inferior border of the heart and then moves posteriorly along the atrioventricular groove and in the crux it anastomoses with the circumflex branch of the left coronary artery we shall now discuss the branches and areas it supplies in detail The left anterior descending artery supplies the anterior interventricular septum, the left ventricle and the right ventricle. Since it supplies majority of the anterior wall, an injury to it causes anterior wall MI. The circumflex artery supplies the left auricle and the posterolateral surface of the left ventricle. 
The left marginal artery supplies the left margin of the left ventricle. The right coronary artery, its ventricular branches supplies the right ventricle, its anterior and inferior surface and injury to it causes inferior wall MI. The atrial branches supplies the right atrium and the sinoaortic branch supplies the SA node. The posterior interventricular artery supplies the posterior interventricular septum, posterior surface of the right and left ventricle and injury to it may lead to posterior wall MI. In coronary artery bypass grafting, they are usually done in patients with severe or unstable angina due to obstruction of the coronary artery. A segment of a vein or an artery is connected to the ascending aorta and then to the coronary artery distal to the obstruction. The most commonly used grafts are great saphenous vein, left internal mammary artery and the radial artery.